Hey Sid, hey it's your dad here. Um, I wanted to um, talk to you and you're getting older and I, I tell you man is that you are an amazing young lady. You are the apple of my eye. You are my firstborn. You mean everything to me. Um, you know I'm a crybaby, but um, Sid, I know that there's times when we may not see eye to eye, um, but I know you know that I have your best interest at heart. And I just wanted to tell you of how how proud I am of you to have you as my daughter, to have a woman who is strong, who's confident, who's brilliant, who's bright, and who's extremely, extremely, extremely resilient. You know, you have gone through many of things with classmates and friends and different people, and you have powered through, babe. And I just want to let you know that your dad loves you. I am rooting for you. I support you. You are an amazing young woman. You are brilliant. You are bright. You have so much potential. And I'm letting you know that I will never, ever, 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 just like my Heavenly Father, I will never leave you nor forsake you because you are mine. And I just wanted to let you know that I love you and I accept you for all of your beauty and all of your mishaps. I love every ounce of you. So I just wanted to let you know that I love you, baby. You're gonna make me cry. Why? Can you have a hug? Yeah. <clears throat> so what you think? Well, one, I love you too. And two, thanks. It's uh, it's nice to know you're proud of me for what I do and what I've been doing. Yep. And I know that I can be on you and get on you and seem like I'm tough and like I don't understand, but I do understand. I'm. <sighs> See, you're making me cry. Um, I want you to be a strong woman. I don't want you to have to suffer and struggle. And so I would rather put pressure on you than somebody else, than the world to put pressure on you because I don't know, like I can't control things outside of my control. So, I know it seems like, man, he doesn't approve of this and does he love me? And babe, I don't ever want you to ever, ever question that. I don't want you to ever question that. I love you with every ounce of my being. And I accept you, like I said, I accept you with all of your flaws. I accept you with your beauty, everything. True love accepts everything about the person. And so it's just not when you do everything right. I accept you when you don't do things right. And I love you in those moments. I love you more than flaws. I love you more than mishaps. Nothing will ever separate me from you. You know, so I don't ever want you to question that. I just want you to be the best you, the most authentic you. I want you to accept you, not, um, only accept you if other people accept you. Only if a boy or your friend accept you. I want you to be able to accept yourself if you stand by yourself. And that's the only way um, that you're going to survive in this world. So I would rather put the pressure on you than somebody else because I know that I'm coming from a place of love. Understand? Mm -hmm. Love you, babe. Love you too. Because you're the type of dad that I feel like other dads should use as a role model. Like you're a good example. Uh, everybody has their flaws, everybody has things that they do wrong. And even though you may feel you're doing something wrong, it's what I need. I, don't, I can't speak for Shelby and Levi, but uh, even if you feel like you're doing something wrong, it's, it's what I need to hear. Uh, some things. <laughs> 
some things I don't really understand now, and you said I'll understand it later, but some things that like, uh, like that we've had conversations about or that we've been through or whatever, I just, I don't know, I didn't like it in the time. But as I'm getting older, I realize, like, as you said, that I'm about to be in the real world. So I, I see a lot of the things that you do and realize that if you don't teach me, then I'm gonna have to learn the hard way. And I'm really blessed to have you as a father and not somebody else, because like I said, everybody should look up to you. Like you're a perfect example of what a father should do, what a father should be like. You just, you're just always there. Like no matter how mad we are with each other or upset that you are with me, you're always gonna be there and I know that. And I don't have to ever have to worry about you like, oh, I, I don't love you, like stop. Like I know that if life does something wrong to me when I'm on my own, I know that I always have you to just be there and tell me what to do in the situation, how to get better and how to improve from it instead of being on my own and like, oh my gosh, I don't have my parents to look back to. You and mommy both, you guys are just always there. I really appreciate it. Wow, oh, I appreciate that, babe. And that's all I would want you to know. Not all I would want you to know, but that's what, that's music to my ears, to know that you know, for me to know that you know that I will always be there for you. And that right there in itself is, is dope. That's dope. I appreciate it. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. <laughs> what can I say about my Shelby? Shelby, you are my sensitive one. And you know, you, you and I are just alike, man. We both are sensitive and it doesn't take much for us to cry, right? Um, but Shelby, I just wanna let you know is that you, um, you are so beautiful, like you're so kind, you are so giving, you are, you know, so selfless, right? You give of yourself no matter what is going on. You will put your priorities and your things aside to make sure everybody else is, you know, is being tend to. You could be a little messy, <laughs> but I love all the messy parts of you of not cleaning up. I would not change you for the world. I love everything about you, babe. I just can't wait to see you as you get older and you become this beautiful bride and you become this phenomenal mom. And I know you are going to be a phenomenal caregiver, right? You're going to be a phenomenal wife and a businesswoman because you, you are cut different, man. You are cut from a different cloth. And you know, your dad, as your dad, I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you, that I love you, that I support you. Uh, I love everything about you, Cheryl. So I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Now give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Baby. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. I love you a lot, man. I meant every word that I said every single word you are my sensitive one you are my everything i love you baby <laughs> so what did that mean to you um like I don't really know what to say, cause that that was a lot. Like you expressing how you feel and like how much you love me, and I don't really know what to say. It just made me feel really good because. But you know, you know, I meant every single word of it. You know, I I, I would do anything for you guys you know i would do anything for you 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 are special i don't know what i would do without you 
you know, my everything that I do is for you guys. Everything that I do for your mom. I want to be the best husband I can be so you guys can see what a real man is because you know everybody can't have you you know I expect you know whoever becomes your husband he's gonna have a tough act to follow I don't I don't ever want you to accept anything less than what you deserve anything less than what you deserve because you, when I when I say that you are beautiful, it's not the beauty on the outside. Everybody can see that, but what's on the inside is amazing, Shelby. And you're so tender, you're so innocent, and I want you to protect that. Not everybody can have what you what you give. So when you you know start to date and you know all those things, you need to make sure that they deserve you because you are extremely unique man I, I just love like you you love to cook and you love arts and and like i said man you you are selfless like you like you just give of yourself in every 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 kind of way baby i want you to know that i love you i will always be here for you there's nothing that I will not do for you. Your dad will always be here, no matter if we have disagreements or I seem upset or disappointed at a moment. Um, I'm never, never, ever, ever gonna turn my back on you. You are never a disappointment. You're never a disappointment, never. I don't care You know how we joke, how you are never a disappointment. I love you with all of my heart and I'll do any and everything for you baby. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you too. Love you. Now you eat your food. What can I say man? Listen. Uh, you are, uh, you dope man. You, you are my little mini me. I've always wanted a son, and uh, the Lord blessed me to have a son, and I could not ask for a more perfect son. And you know, you are so much, even at this age, you are so much better than I was, man. You are full of confidence. You have a swag about you, man. You meet. No strangers and people love you, man. Everybody um, love to be around Levi. You um, set the bar. So, you know, I just want to let you know, man, is that I do everything um, that I do to be an example to you um, so you can be a man of integrity, a man of honor, and a man of respect. You know, I want you to be a man that wants around with his head high and not be intimidated by other people, not be, um, I don't want you to deal with low self-esteem like I did when I was your age, I don't want you to deal with insecurities, I want you to be a man, I want you to grow up to be a man with such um, resolve and confidence and walk in brilliance and, and, and have, um, and have a level of um, not contentment, but a level of restraint so that you will never lose control. You will always be in control of your emotions. And what I do love about you as well, man, is that you're not afraid to share your insecurities. You're not afraid to be vulnerable. Um, I love that you show emotion, and I embrace that. So I just want to let you know, son, that I'm, a pr I'm proud of you. And I and I know that you will be an amazing husband. You're gonna be an amazing father. You know, and you you are going to change the world because you um you you're so driven. You're so motivated. You know, to impact people's lives, even as a young age, as a young as a young boy, man. So as your father, I am extremely proud, and I love you, son. I love you, love you, love you, and I would never, never do anything to disappoint you. Uh, I would never do anything to leave you 
out there on your own and I will protect you as much as I can. I will protect you and not allow someone to take your innocence and never to um, and, and never to um, take advantage of um, your heart, you know, so so I'm going to always continue to pray for you and to protect you and I love you, son. so bright you're so confident and you know some people can you know uh, be afraid of that right um, because of their insecurities you know because they have issues and not because of you and so that's why I have to remind you that you are strong and confident and smart and you know and how I hold you accountable of not losing you know, control. And that's why I ask you those questions when you show an emotion and crying and things of that nature, asking you why, right? You know, and asking you like, what type of, you know, what can you do in this moment? Because it's important for you to um, know how to control your emotion. It's because as a man, as you get older, you get stronger. And if you don't know how to control your emotion, you could hurt somebody. And I don't want to lose you to a jail cell or an institution where they put you away because you lost control. So it's my job as your father to teach you how to manage your emotions and talk and be open and be vulnerable because a lot of times we as men don't want to show emotion and we don't want to talk and when we do that we bottle stuff up and we get angry and we begin to use our fists and use, you know, use violence to express ourselves and that's not what I want you. I want you to use your brain. I want you to use your intellect. I want you to use your mouth, right? I want you to use your smarts, you know, in all of this. And you're going to eventually, you're going to be a husband and you're going to be a father. And I want you to be the best husband, you know, not to put your hands on women, not to manipulate, not to abuse them, not to abuse their bodies and all that type of stuff. I want you to respect them the same way you respect your sister in the same way you see me respect your mom. So it's my job to do that for you as a son, you know, as my son to teach you how to be a man in this world. You understand? All right. Yeah, but like sometimes when, like, when I get older as a man, when like, I feel like people are like, oh, jealous, they might express themselves as hitting because people are spending less time um, like spending less time attention on them and not me because they think I'm better at a point that if they start hitting me like I would have to warn them a few times to like say stop hitting me or 
something you know, happen and it's like in touch with you then that's the point that I have to you know defend yourself yeah. absolutely you have to defend yourself but we don't want to ever be in that position that's why we want to make sure that we be, that we surround ourselves with people who will support us and not try to hurt us. That's why we have to choose our friends wisely. So my last question for you is, what type of father am I? Um, you're a very good father. You're a very good husband. You're a very good <laughs> you told me I was being average and you was being elite. So, no, but I appreciate those kind words, man. I love you. I love you. Have a kiss. Love you, man.